What's up, you all? And as requested, one of the greatest to ever touch a microphone, Miss Kelly Clarkson covers Trouble Blues by the legendary Mr. Sam Cooke. Let's get right on into it. I never get enough of Miss Kelly Clarkson. Especially covering soul music. Because she can do that. Come on. Since you went away, That feels so good. That gutter. <laughs> Incredible. And one of the greatest to ever do it vocally. One easily one of the greatest uh, of this era. Uh, uh, and she's gotten more and more refined. Uh, uh, every time I see her, uh, it seems just just so much refinement. Uh, th uh, those high belts and that transition, that flip was so seamless, so smooth into a full chested belt to head voice. That ain't easy going from full power chest to to to, 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 to that flip was just so. It, it, it was the cherry on top. It was absolutely perfect. I apologize for the background noise, uh, but it was absolute perfection. That flip. And that beautiful head voice note, that flip, that just gave me Whitney vibes. You know what I mean? Because Whitney is known for that. Even at full chest, one of the things that make her different, full chest power. She can flip just as seamless into this most beautiful operatic head voice. And, and that's exactly what she gave me there. Uh, uh, just this masterful how she did that. Um, and every ad lib, the little runs, the, those old, you know, those little southern like runs, not super quick, but, but just very accurate. Uh, and, and just great ornamentation, good placement. She didn't do too much. She could have just drowned this song out, <laughs> drowned it all out, but she did not. Uh, uh, just very tasteful with it. And uh, uh, just, I love, love, love every ad lib. I, I love every belt, the power in her range. <laughs> and the fact that this is the, these covers, all these that she's done on Kelly Oki, all of them 100% live, as far as I can tell. I, I've gotten quite good at telling what's, you know what? What? What's you know uh, uh, a pre-recorded uh, uh, when a track just kicks in for the, the climax part of it? You know, because because you know some people do that. Uh, uh, but these, as far as I could tell, again are one hundred percent live and it's perfection. These could easily be like live recordings, is what they call it. You know, uh, uh, or pre-recorded. You just put this lady down on a record and sell it. Uh, uh, absolutely, absolute perfection vocally. Every note and, and, and ad lib and the head voice and, 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 the, and the, the melisma here and there. Uh, I love those things. The little riffs is what they call those back and forth things. I love when she did that. It was, just, it was excellent. It was excellent. The band, y'all know I love that down south, that that soul, uh, that Sam Cooke. She, she, everybody can't do that. Everybody can't do soul and, and sell it. You know what I mean? There's people who can cover soul, singers cover, gospel singers cover that. 
and and they technically they're brilliant they're excellent they check every box uh, uh they might even take it up an octave but they don't make you really feel, and this is subjective i should i should mention too to be fair to everybody but for me not everybody can can eat just hitting the notes are not enough just doing the atlets are not enough for me when, especially when you're singing soul or gospel but she has she's one of those people she's got the soul man she just got the that factor that you can't really measure uh the fullness and the power but the, the ability to emote to express vocally she has it and that, that that's more rare thank you all for like subscribe please continue for more of your favorites peace